I'm still waiting. <laughs> wow. Okay, and it's fair. It's fair. I would like to know. I would like to, and be real. I would like to know why you didn't raise your hand. Why do you not like marketing? I think if you don't know your, your niche and your message and everything else, it's going to be virtually impossible because what are you essentially marketing? So there's a lot of legwork, I think, that has to be done before you can get to the I'm so glad somebody said that. That is so true. Do you get the point while we're doing the it and the who? It's not to put you to work so you can use this time. <laughs> it's, it's because if the it isn't there and the who isn't there or if it's too overcrowded, you will never, ever make it to the marketing side. You'll never make it there. Because you know what it is? <laughs> and I told somebody this one day. I said, literally, as a speakerpreneur, if you're marketing properly, which means you're spending a great amount of time doing it, mm -hmm. you pretty much talk about yourself mm -hmm. every day, all day. <laughs> Who, can you understand why we have egos? Because <laughs> you're just there talking. And it's not that you're talking about yourself. But you are marketing you and your message, so it's an all-day-long thing. It's absolutely true. Um, the purpose of this, guys, is I wanted to give you an easy, slap-me-in-the-face, idiot-proof marketing plan. I'm tired of people struggling when it comes to it. Um, also, many folks have no idea what it is. Why is it important to them? They're told, go on social media every day and post, and you'll get a lot of clients. And they do it, and they don't get a lot of clients, and they get really pissed off. Can anybody relate? <laughs> They're told, send out a newsletter, and then they send out a newsletter, and they get a bunch of unsubscribes, and they get upset again, and they're, I don't understand why. How about if I told you that this marketing plan system will answer all those questions? Awesome. And what's beautiful is, this book is yours to take home. Thank you. Thank so you, you will take home, read it through, and then I think tomorrow... Uh, late afternoon, I will share with you another piece of this program, okay? So I really wanted to, you to get this. So the first sheet that I would like you to pull out, there's a Get Clients Now action sheet for me, the action worksheet. It says Get Clients Now, looks oh, like this, okay. the action worksheet. Okay, what I want you to do first is go to the section that says, how much business do you have now? And you want to look in terms of either the number of clients, the number of income, then I want you to go to how much business do you really want? So do you want to double those numbers? Do you want to, and th please don't shoot out of the sky. If you're at 30 grand now, please don't write it. You want to be at a million, you know, tomorrow. You need something that's a little bit more attainable. Now the next question is, what would that get you? If you had four clients now, I'm just using an example, and you wanted eight. And some people say, I don't want to be anything right now. So if you have no business, which is the point I was going on, you put zero there. And right below where it says, how much business do you really want? Then you put, I want three clients. Or I want three. And by the way, clients could be speaking engagements, by the way. Okay, I just don't want you to use the word speaking engagements. In order for you to make money, you got to keep the pipeline filled. Have you ever had a month where you said, oh my gosh, how am I going to pay my bills next month? And what upsets you is you've been busy. It ain't like you've been sitting there twiddling your thumbs. You've been busy, but then you look up and you go, but I have no new business coming in. Yeah. Have you ever felt that way? Yeah. That's because your pipeline is empty. So as an entrepreneur, unless you're going to go work for somebody else, because do you get a check often when you're in corporate America? Absolutely. But as an entrepreneur, do you get a check <laughs> every two weeks or once a month? Well, it all depends on what high-end program you got in place. <laughs> but no, you don't necessarily do. No, you don't. Money can be extremely sporadic for entrepreneurs. And I wish landlords and electric companies and cable cared, but they don't. They want their money <laughs> every single month. So your goal is to keep the pipeline filled. Don't try to get into how you do that yet. We're not that far. Walk with me. I'm keeping it very simple. So the first thing, gather leads. Unfortunately, a lot of folks gather leads to get these cards. They may follow up and say, hey, this is Sylvia Jacobs, and I'm just calling you to follow up, and I just wanted to say hi, and I like your card, and I think you're great, and that was pretty much it. Bye-bye. Then you're not going through the cycle. Now, there's something else I do, but there's a certain way you got to do it. I also meet people, and I say, oh, you know, so nice to meet you. 
I want to keep in touch and know what's going on with you. And I would love you if you, do you have a newsletter? Add me to the list. Is it okay if I add you to my list? Because what I do is I offer tips about reinvention and then you can kind of keep up with me and I can keep up with you, especially if you're talking to fellow speakers. And so most people will say yes, absolutely. I add people into my e-zine. A lot of speakers are on my e-zine list. Why is that important? Because it puts me in front of them every time I send out the e-zine. But the, here is the core. Here's the core. What's the core of it? You've got to follow up. I don't care what you do. You, gotta, you can't send out a newsletter once every six months and expect for it to work. How, how often do you send out your e-zine? I try to send it out every week but sometimes it turns into every two weeks. Okay. At the most, I make good. I definitely send it out every month. You guys see that, right? <laughs> <laughs>